Hi, Kelvin. This is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories. How are you doing today? I'm good, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I'm logged into your website right now, and I just want to see okay. if you had a, what questions you had for me today. Well, I just wanted to see. I got this directory now, and I just wanted to see how you set up SEO for this. All right, that's a great question. So let me go and take a quick look at your website. Okay, I see that you're just getting started, so that's fine. I'm just going to input a couple items before we get started. And basically what I want to show you is that all the SEO is already taken care of for you. But I want to show you how the system does it so that you can focus on other items like creating content, which is going to bring a lot more value to you long term. So the first thing I'm going to ask is what is the, the name of your website? Uh, the name of the website is localcontractors dot com all right yep. dot com all right so i'm going to put that all together all right great so you'll see we, we'll get rid of this uh, phone number for now you can add your 1-800 phone number later you'll see okay. that the two critical parts of seo with our software is this profession name and this industry name we'll look at the seo templates letter later but you're going to want to make sure that you select keywords that people are actually searching for. So in this case, because it's in your uh, URL, I would actually recommend putting local contractor as the industry name. So, or that, that's what I would put. And we'll look at it later on, but, and I'd put the same for the profession name. Okay. So these keywords, when people are looking for contractors, they're going to be generated throughout all of the SEO templates that we look at. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that later on. So we're gonna okay. save it. We have the website name, we have the industry name, and we have the profession name, three critical aspects of SEO templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. Okay. And I'm gonna go and visit your website. I'll get okay. rid of the admin bar. And this may be the first time you see this, but I'm going to show you what's called the source code. So when we're talking about SEO, we're talking about meta descriptions, meta titles, as well as SEO for social media sharing. That's when you paste the link in social media and it automatically puts a title and a description. All this is called SEO. So I'm going to show you the source code of this page. And the way I do that is I hit Control U. Uh -huh. That's going to open up a new tab, and it's going to show me all the source code of your website. So what we're looking at here is we see search the most complete local contractor directory, find local contractors. Local contractor, local contractor, and localcontractors.com are your keywords. Um, so you can see these are already nice descriptions for your SEO. Right, okay. so the description of your website is search the most complete local contractor directory. So what the system did is it took these, these variables that we just added and it places them all over the map. So how does the SEO work and how do you set it up? Basically, you have what are called static pages. Your website comes with about 13 okay. static pages. These are pages where the content never changes. The home page is a static page. The how it works page is a static page. Uh, the pricing page is a static page. These, again, there's no dynamic content. There's not a search result page. It's not a coupon page. It's not a profile page. So if you want to edit the SEO of any one of these static pages, all you need to do is you go to content and you click on edit page. Okay. And you find the page that you want to edit. Now, I, my recommendation is always go with our default SEO templates. Don't worry about it. What's most important is the keywords are all in there. But if there's one page that you're going to want to put in a little personal touch, it'd probably be your home page because it's so critical. So if you wanted to edit the SEO of the home page, all you mm -hmm. need to do is click on Edit. So now when we scroll down, you'll see that we have all of the SEO descriptions here on the right-hand side. So you're able to edit the, the title be able to edit the keywords and the description. So search the most complete profession profession. So that's what we were looking at here when we were reading it. Search mm -hmm. the most complete local contractor database. So that's where this gets pulled from this okay. description here. So if you wanted to change this, um, this is where you'd go ahead and do it. Now when you see profession in these percentage signs, you see website name and you see industry. That's why I told you those three fields we looked at earlier were so critical because these are the three variables that our templates use the most 
for generating your SEO templates. Okay. So if you do a good job of those, if you're not crazy about it, uh, you could just go in and change that one variable and you'll see the entire, uh, the, 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 all the templates will automatically be updated with that new industry or that new profession variable that you've entered for the SEO template. So we looked at the static pages. Those are fairly easy to do, but what makes a directory complicated in terms of SEO is that you have so many dynamic pages. What is a dynamic page? A dynamic page could be a search result page, right? This is a template right here where you just did a general search, but if I put in a location like New York and I do a search, now this is a different template where there's a state and there's a city. Perhaps I'm putting in a category. Perhaps I'm only putting in a location. All of these different combinations all require their own templates to be generated. And what our customers absolutely want to make sure is local SEO is critical with an online directory. What does that mean? It means most searches are done locally. So somebody's mm -hmm. going to be looking for a contractor in New York. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a template that's optimized for the locality of New York. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at, uh, at this specific search result and see what was automatically generated for you. Again, all we did was enter three fields, as you saw. So yeah. search, so the description is search our New York, New York, United States local contractor database and connect with the best local contractors and, and other local contractor professionals in New York, New York, United States. So it's getting all of those critical local keywords. We have advanced settings that can make it state specific if you don't want to have United States and all of these different strands. But generally speaking, this is the default setting. So without you having to do anything, you have this dynamic page that we just generated and all of the SEOs taken care of for you. Taken care for you in the social media sharing. That's this information that we're looking at here, the OG. This is all your social media meta, me, um, this is all your social media SEO. And then here's all of your website SEO that Google will index for search results. So you can imagine how much time this is going to save you from having to go and customize all of these different templates for every single one of these pages. The critical keywords are all being taken care of. When you add categories to your website and we're going to go ahead and add one real quick right now so we'll add a main category what's uh, what's a main category that we can have uh, plumber uh plumber spot yeah all right let's do a plumber all right, and go ahead and save that So I'm going to refresh this page because we just updated. So now perhaps somebody's going to look for a plumber on your website. That's a, that's a possibility. So if somebody's searching for a plumber and they wanted him in, uh, in New York, you'll see that there's an H1 that has the keyword. There's an H2 that has the keyword. There's a design setting that hides the H2. If you don't want the H2 because it is fairly repetitive, it's just a design setting and that's up to you. But you'll see you have the category keyword that's in there plus the, the, plus the location. And when we're looking at the source code, now it's going to include that plumber, which is critical. It's going to mm. be all over the place. So what are the keywords for this page? New York, New York, United States, local contractor, plumber, plumbers, plumbers in New York, New York, United States, local contractors, and local contractors. So you see we're all over those keywords that somebody like yourself would want to make sure that people are searching for plumbers or contractors in New York, that your site is recognized as a site that has that sort of content. That's all taken care of for you. You have the, the description of the SEO, so search our New York, New York, United States local contractor database and connect with the best plumbers and other local contractor professionals in New York. So as you can see, it inserted that category plumber. So all of your main categories, subcategories, and sub-subcategories, they all have their own SEO templates as well. Let's say you wanted to get down to the nitty gritty and you're like, you know, Pat, I love all this stuff. There's this one template. I'd like to change this word or I'd like to change um, th th this, this item here. We're going to go and show you how you would do that, how easy it is to do. So I'm going to go okay. and select plumber again. We're just going to do plumbers. And maybe you don't like that it just says plumbers. Maybe you want to say find the best plumbers near you or a top rated plumbers. Maybe you're not, you're not crazy about it just saying plumbers. What you would do, because this is a dynamic page, 
search result pages, member profile pages, all those are dynamic pages, coupons, events, classifieds. This icon in your admin bar, so that's when I click on visit website, it's going to open up that admin bar. So all of a sudden I have this icon up here and this is the SEO template icon. This is to find out what SEO template is being used for this specific dynamic page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And it's going to open up the template that was being used. So you can see it's only calling the profession name, which is the top level mm -hmm. category. Right? So I could be the absolute best and just save that as is, yep. as the new as the new SEO settings. And now when I go ahead and I refresh the search result page, which that's the wrong page, my apologies. When I refresh this page, you'll have it update. So anybody that does a top main category search, it'll say the absolute best and it'll insert that category there. So it's as easy as that to customize how that SEO is, is handled. So this is the H1 and the H2, but you can also customize the source code itself, all the meta titles, meta descriptions, and just like the static pages, you would go ahead and do that by scrolling down and editing the SEO meta details here and the social media sharing details here. And that's okay. basically it. That's how you would set up the SEO with billion directories. Did you have any questions? Yeah. Um, so let's say I, you know, I want to target a keyword on my website, say, um, um, roofer in Wichita, Kansas. Uh -huh. How would I do that? How would I go about doing that, I guess? So is, is this a contractor website or a roofer website? Yeah, it's a contractor, it's general contractors, but I, you know, roofers one category, right? Okay, well in that case, what you would do is you would add the category. I don't know if you're gonna have a, a top level category be uh, contractors and then have sub level categories be plumber and, and roofers and all that. Roof the sub, yeah, roofer would be the sub. Yeah. yeah, so you would definitely, but let, just for this example, you would just okay. make sure you create a category for roofer. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and add roofer as a category. Mm -hmm. um, now that we have this category, I can go to the website, I can type in roofer, and it's going to now be a search result page um, that you can, that, that Google can then index. So let me just show okay. you what that looks like real quick. So there we go, the absolute best roofers. And if I, if I add a location like San Francisco, right, so now it's going to say the absolute best roofers. Oh, no, it won't say the absolute best because that's a different SEO template, but it's going to say roofers in San Francisco, California, United States. Okay. So you're asking me, well, how, how am I going to be found in search results for that? What you would do in this case is you would go to your toolbox, you would go to the sitemap generator, mm -hmm. and all you do is click on this green button and you click generate sitemap. This is going to be very quick because we don't have a lot of data that's been added thus far, but essentially okay. What the system's doing is it's generating your sitemap. So what it's doing, it's crawling the entire website. It's adding all the URLs of all the members, all the categories, all the locations, and it's giving it in a very clean, organized structure that Google requires. So here we have your entire sitemap of all the data that's on your website. If we actually go to this link, you're going to see what that structure looks like. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. And this is the link. Ah. My apologies. That's okay. And this is the link. Okay. This is the link that you would submit to Google right here. So what, what I forgot to do is I forgot to click on the copy to clipboard. That was my ah. mistake. So I went ahead and I pasted that. And this is the link. This is the sitemap that you would generate. And these are all the different files. Uh, that you have within the directory. So once you submit your sitemap to Google, they're going to index and crawl all these pages, and that's how you can rest assured that Google will index your roofers pages, which are important to you. Okay. So I just do this, and then that means I can just start ranking for roofer just like that? Yeah, Google usually takes three to six months before you can expect to see your sites start to rank. 
Okay. The reason we're even having this call, my, my whole purpose is to, t to show you that all the SEO templates are taken care of for you. What's really yeah. going to make a difference for you and for Google to index you at this point and for you to rank is to add businesses, is to add blog articles if you have any articles, is to get your members yeah. to add special offers, get them to add products, get them to add properties, get them to mm -hmm. add events. All mm -hmm. that content that you write is critical yeah. for you to start showing in search results and also taking steps like social media marketing to drive traffic to your site, make sure the bounce rate isn't too high. There's a lot of things that, you, that goes into ranking on Google, but mm -hmm. this definitely puts you, what this does for you is it puts you in a position to focus on the things that will actually have an impact. Most people that launch websites, they spend all their time on SEO, no time on the content. And unfortunately for them, because of that, they don't really have a valuable website. They just have an SEO rich website. But you'll be able to focus on making this a website that your website visitors find useful. And as long as the website users find it useful, uh, usually that'll equate to a successful online business. Okay, and I got one last, do you guys have a program to kind of help me you know, get a strategy for like my content and things of that nature. I feel confident about the tool I have. I just maybe some help in getting me a strategy for content and, and targeting the stuff. Yeah, we do have onboarding plans that you can book with us where you can have, because we've obviously done this a lot. We've launched a lot of websites. If you want to speak to somebody that's on our team that can help guide you in the right direction, show you some good tools to use, some good resources that are available to you, you can go ahead and, and purchase an onboarding plan. And that'd probably be what I would recommend you do uh, to get started. Okay. Well, this has been really helpful, Patrick. I feel really, really, uh, I feel good at first. Now I feel even better. Now I know I got these, these tools to create these templates for SEO. All right. Well, I'm happy I was in service. Thank you very much, Kelvin. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right,